how how accurate uh, do you th- are Google Maps and Google Earth's representation of Antarctica compared to like the most accurate maps that you've seen? I guess. I guess uh, Google, you may be surprised, is different by the country you're in because Google has to buy their yeah. imagery from something, and yeah. countries like the U.S. pay a lot of money to have flyovers. And so even if you look at the, you can get a better sense if you look at the historical photos where you can go back in time and look at Las Vegas, and you'll mm-hmm. be like, well, in the past, the pictures aren't as clear. Well, it wasn't the same resolution. Mm-hmm. That's true anywhere in the world. And I, I experienced this when I went to India the first time and when I was in South America because the quality of imagery was less, and especially in the mountains because the country doesn't pay for it and Google maybe has nothing they can buy. They do have contracts with some satellite companies now, mm-hmm. which lets them fill in the gaps. Yeah. But it's going to be a much grainier photo than the art if you look at Columbus, Ohio, or anywhere right. in the U.S. Yeah, and I think yeah, a lot of it is there's no there's no civilization, so like they just feel well, you know, we don't need it for the road for the roads or the maps or anything like that. So like yeah, they probably just don't fuss with it, and that's probably the case. But like it's opened a lot of discussion because people go on, you know, they try to do their own exploring on Google Earth, and they find these blotches, and they're like, okay, why is this blurred out kind of thing, like. So I was just kind of asking, like, yeah. if you had more of a idea of how the process works, because well, like, maybe yeah. it could just be simple that they just didn't buy that specific part of Antarctica, and that's why it's blurred out. But you know, people obviously have ideas that oh, they're hiding something, you know, and and maybe they are, but like, you know, I was just gonna kind of ask what the process is for Google Earth and like how yeah. they. Well, Google's like any other company; they have to make money, right? And yeah. so if you're not making a lot, selling a lot of ad revenue or click revenue by images of Antarctica. So they have the basic level stuff you can use. Um, there are higher end products you can pay for, and you can buy higher quality images. You also get artifacts. You know, there's cloud covers sometimes the year. This is a surface which is very different than the rest of the planet because it's reflective. Right. And so a lot of times that creates artifacts that maybe look like something it's not. I know we had a question about an iceberg that looked like a ship in disguise. <laughs> You know, there's so many icebergs out there. It's like clouds, right? Mm-hmm. My, my daughter looked up the other night and saw a cloud look like an elephant. That doesn't mean it was an elephant. Right. <laughs> but your, your odds of getting animals, that right. look, clouds that look like creatures, it's possible to see that if you look at enough of them. Right. 